this video we are going to see a new component from data and event processing uh, which is initializer okay so let me drag and drop this component and uh, show you like how the look and feel of this component looks right how the configuration window of this component looks so if you see it is pretty similar to the decision component that we have seen here we have input table output table only thing we don't have is a micro decision table and other things are quite similar to that so what is initializer right let's talk about talk brief about it and let i can explain you with an example so let's suppose uh, you are you have designed a page and as soon as you land on this page okay as soon as you land first on that page the loading page we can say the home page you want to trigger few apis right you want to do a certain activity as soon as you open that page so how you are going to do right so for that we have a initializer that is one use case of initializer where we can trigger certain logic or we can trigger certain apis we can call to the certain apis as soon as we load the page so we can say as soon as we land on that particular page initializer component would be the first component that would be getting triggered and post that we are going to link all the things that initializer should trigger but automatically the initializer is the thing that we can set to trigger on the page load that is one thing and also so let's see first that use case and then we will talk about the other use case of initializer this is a very good component or this is very important component from the uncock perspective because everything we will do like let's suppose we want to call the api we want to talk to some external systems or maybe some internal apis initializer is something we need to use as soon as we land on that page right so let's take a basic use case where we say we have a text field here so let's write it here as first name let's copy this uh, let's name this as last name cool so what we need to do is maybe once we preview this it would be blank of course i mean blank as not the values won't be there inside it but let's assume for this use case because we haven't talked about the external i mean apis or internal apis so we'll not take that use case but let's assume as soon as we land on this page what we want to do is we want to talk to an api we want to call an api or whatever the response that we have got from the api we want to feel that values in this boxes right this is what we need to do so how we can do with initializer is let's take and initializer in this and maybe here i can write it as init on load okay and here you can see again we have the things here like trigger type but in the previous components it was only watch and manual but here we have a new submission and edit submission as well so let's take new submission for now and i will explain you what happens with this save okay but let's configure that so here what i will do is in the output first name second name is last name we want to put some values inside it right let's put this value as ms and Dhoni okay so these are the values that we have put inside this so for now we have hard coded these values but in the real life scenario you can imagine like we are going to pass that values or like whatever the values we want we can like dynamically pass that as well so here what we are going to do is we have set here as new submission right so what it means here it's also given is the default manual vets 
to be triggered by another component so we have already seen manual is something we need to explicitly trigger from our end right and watch is something it will look for the input values to change so here we haven't configured any input values so even if we put here put this on watch it won't help right because input values are same but our scenario is we want to trigger this as in as soon as the page loads so for that what we will do is new submission so what is this new submission is the trigger type new submission is the component will fire when page loads without a submission id right or calling on module without a submission present so what does that mean is let me refresh this now so see what happens is we have given the information of assigning the values to this first name and last name within this initializer component that is one part but we haven't triggered this right we haven't triggered this initializer or init onload component from our side neither we have put it on watch but we have put it on new submission okay so that's why this initializer got triggered as soon as we land on this page okay as soon as we load this page and the values got assigned to it and here in the console you can see init on load is there right the entry of this is there so which means it is triggered and assigned that values so what is this new submission and edit submission right so here if you see we have this display and then we have this module id as well so what is this module id this is a unique identifier of a module so we have created this module okay which is called as sandbox and this is the module id of it right and here is that module id so there is no submission involved to it which means whatever the data is there inside it it is not linked to some submission or database right it is straightforward a normal module is there and we are directly previewing it so if there is any submission involved to this so let's suppose we are pulling this values ms dhoni this values from some database right not from database but from the uncork default database which is having so there all the data is stored in the submission format so we will see this in the upcoming videos what is submission and all but let's suppose these values are coming from that place where we are storing these values so whenever we store any values to that particular submission that thing would be having a submission id which means these two names or this name is associated or uniquely identified with that submission id and that submission id also comes in this url then in that case it is not a new submission because the submission is already present we are just fetching that right on this page so that is called as edit submission so here if you see trigger type is edit submission so the component will fire when the page loads with the submission id so now the page is loaded but there is no submission id so when there is no submission id it is considered as new submission so that is what the current use case was where it was a new submission so that's why it was like triggered so now if we put it on edit submission and just try it out we'll just refresh this it will not work our initializer component won't get triggered because we have put it on edit submission but our url is like for the new submission so if you see nothing comes and on the console itself console also nothing is there yeah so that's about initializer component that was one use case where we were if we want to uh, trigger certain logic uh, based on uh, page load or maybe edit submission we can put all those things so this is just one thing right we have just uh, for this current use case we have manually trigger that things right we have like manually assigned these values that is that was one case but let's suppose we have lot of operations below this right we are calling going to call the api call or maybe we are going to do a certain logic this is second step or third one is like we want to do a save operation or as soon as on page load so all these three activities would be there right that we want to do as soon as we load the page as soon as we land on that page so how we can do that so in that case we are going to mention all the components okay it shouldn't be the text field or like that it, it can be anything so let's take decision component 
so I will not write anything inside this decision component I will not write any rule but let's suppose this rule is something doing lot of activities it, this decision component is having lot of things inside it so let's assume this so what we can do is here we can write rule whatever the decision component we have and we want to trigger that right so here we have this property as trigger so just like for value we were having this value and we were setting the value so in case of type as trigger we need to write it here as trigger and we want to trigger that that in that case we need to write go which means that this rule which will, will get trigger so this is what we are doing so I will just refresh this page I think yeah, we haven't changed this to edit submission uh, sorry new submission so again it will not work but let me save it now I will trigger that so as of now we haven't put any logic inside decision component but yeah you can think of like maybe that rule is having so this rule is also triggered so there can be n number of logics right that we want to trigger so this is how we can do we can just set one initializer that gets triggered as soon as we load the page and that further triggers the connecting logic which we need to mention inside this initializer component so that was one thing about it which is on page load and other thing is like so basically what is here like we can just link the other logic to one single place and instead of triggering logic one by one we can just trigger this init which is initializer and that one init is responsible of taking care of calling those other logic which you are having so the same we can do here as well right we can put it button so let's take an example where we have a button so here we had seen this right I, I said like we would be having save save draft event validate reset so when we took it as when we take this as event then here we have an option to trigger to mention what we want to trigger once we click on this button so let's suppose we want to trigger this initializer okay on this so in that case what we are going to do we'll just put this initializer on manual right we are not going to trigger this on load but we are going to trigger that on a click of this button so I will just refresh this and let that button handle it so if I click on submit so see initializer got triggered that rule which was associated with this initializer component also got triggered and this is what we have got right so there can be so here if you see the button we just have one option right here to trigger so let's suppose you want to trigger 10 components on a click of a button so that is not possible to configure all those 10 components in button right because here we just have one uh, option to put so that we can do is such a way that we can create an initializer component there we can put all the components we want to trigger and set it to a button component so that link is formed right button triggers initializer and initializer further then trigger all the things that we want to trigger so that was second use case of initializer uh, so yeah that's pretty much about initializer component so once we build the project in this uh, playlist like once we go ahead with the tutorials once we start building a project then in that case you will get more idea about it how real time we use this but this is how like we can use initializer component you can just go back to the video let's see if you are any if you're having any confusion just repeat the video again we'll get an idea if not you can just uh, post the comments on the video so that's it from the today's video guys uh, you can just if you haven't accessed the playlist uh, you can just go to our channel and uncork and access the uncork playlist and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel and also keep sharing thank you